This UCSD TV program is presented by University of California Television. Like what you learn? Visit our website or follow us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with the latest programs. We are the Paradoxical Eight. Bipedal, naked, large-brained, long the master of fire, tools, and language, but still trying to understand ourselves, aware that death is inevitable, yet filled with optimism. We grow up slowly. We hand down knowledge. We empathize and deceive. We shape the future from our shared understanding of the past. Carta brings together experts from diverse disciplines to exchange insights on who we are and how we got here. An exploration made possible by the generosity of humans like you. Where did we come from and how did we get here? Those are important questions. Um, the best answer that I can give you is I came from North Carolina and I'm pretty sure it was Delta 1833 last night. But um, on behalf of uh, my co-chair, Dr. Philip Reitmeyer and me, I would like to welcome you to the symposium on the origin of the genus Homo. There is probably no transition in human evolutionary history, which is as significant as the origin of the genus Homo. Prior to about two million years ago, the fossil record tells us that uh, Africa was largely populated, not completely populated, but largely populated with Australopiths. After about two million, the Australopiths are largely gone, and we have a diverse array of early members of our genus and very shortly after that, we begin to find Homo erectus. And with Homo erectus, we have a creature which is in every way different from the Australopithecus. Larger in body size, a different body shape, a larger brain, uh, adaptations for more efficient long distance walking and running, possibly adaptations in the shoulder for, for being able to throw with speed. We see a shift in dietary ecology more consumption of animal tissues, and that's associated with a much greater dependence on stone tool use. There are changes in energetics. There's changes in thermoregulation. There are likely to be changes in social organization, reproductive strategies, life history. I cannot overstate the, the importance of this transition in human evolutionary history. But as important as this is, it is equally mysterious and frustrating to those of us who study it. Uh, the fossil record has been fairly scrappy, and the fossils that we do recover are diverse, and it's very, very difficult to understand what to make of them. Um, so there are major questions which, which still exist. When did the genus Homo originate? Where did it originate? From whom did it come? Where did Homo erectus come from? What were the evolutionary processes? What were the environmental conditions, the ecological circumstances? Uh, what was the genetic background, the molecular background? What things led to these sort of profound changes that we see in human anatomy, human physiology, human behavior, human ecology? Um, and it's a wonderfully rich area. There have been remarkable fossil discoveries made in the last decade or so. But with every new discovery, in some cases it clarifies for us, but more often than not, it simply adds more depth and texture to the mysteries that surround the origin of the genus Homo. 
I'm really excited about this workshop today because we have brought together some of the leading scholars who work in this area. Um, and I think it's gonna prove to be a very, very uh, interesting and very rewarding workshop on the origin of the genus Homo.